Hey guys, this is part one of upgrading your ESXi5 to ESXi5 update 2. Um, first thing we're going to have to do is, obviously you have a ESXi5 box, and then we're going to download VMA. So 5.002 we can get uh, from VMware's website, it's about a 500 meg download, and we just extract it and we are given four files. Once we've got these files, uh, there's a link to this in the comments by the way, um, we can go file, deploy OVF template, we can find the OVF file, which will be here, and we can go next, it's all set up, ready to go, nothing to do here, accept, next, um, give it a name, vSphere Management Assistant, call it, whoops, I'm going to call it VMA Local, because it's on the local data store. So we're going to select the local data store, so I've got some space free there. Um, we're going to, don't really want to use all of the space really, so we'll do thin provision. Uh, standard network. And then we're going to power on after deployment. So this will then upload the VMDK file from my PC, and then we'll be ready to go. So we'll just leave that running. Cool, so that's done now, so we click on close, as we can see we've got another virtual machine, so right click open console, and we can just bring that over, and it's just booting up a pre-configured Linux operating system, so we'll let that run. Okay, so we got a message here, do we want to configure an additional IP version 6, so we're going to go with no, and then we're going to do DHCP, um, yeah, it's, it's judgment call really, um, you probably want to give it a static IP really, so let's not use DHCP, let's give it a static IP, so you want to choose something on your network that's unused. I'm going to use 10.66.1.99 because that's one below the ESXi host IP, and we've got 255.24 subnet. Gateway is .254, make sure you set this so that you can access it remotely, um, otherwise you'll have trouble over VPNs, etc. Uh, DNS server, I'm going to use my Windows server, and I'm going to use my router. So, host name, we're going to call this VMA. Uh, no, we don't use a proxy server. So, we're going to confirm that's correct, and we're going to let the device continue booting up. Okay, so we're going to enter a password, so we don't have an old password, so we just press enter, and then we're going to give this a new super secret password, because it can cause damage. Obviously, that wasn't secret enough, so let's do old password again. Right, it's got to be seriously complex. Okay, finally accepted it with some special characters in capital letter and a number. Um, so that's that then, we'll just let it boot up now. Okay, so we're done in the console now, so we just need to note down this URL. Uh, we might as well just go to it now, in all fairness. So we are looking at HTTPS. Make sure you put HTTPS because you've got a different port number, so it won't automatically go to HTTPS, so we're going to colon 5480, and then we're going to proceed anyway, uh, makes sense to bookmark this, and then we're going to go in as VI admin, and then our super secure password. There we go, that's logged in. Um, just to bear in mind, when you set up VMA, it's set up with an American keyboard. So like I said earlier, my password has special characters. They were at at. But when you log into the web, you have a UK keyboard set up. Obviously, if you're in the UK, so it gets swapped to colon, not colon, speech mark, speech mark. So your password may not work with at at. So try it with that, which is shift and two. So now we're logged in. We can do what we have to do. Which in this case, we mean clicking on update, and then we're going to check for updates. And job done, there's no updates there. We can turn on automatically check. Uh, we'll change that to every week. And we'll save those settings. And that is VMA all sorted. So you can just verify your settings there. And that's it.